you can see that here I got a simple asteroid and I have applied an animation to it. But it does not look very re realistic because there's no motion blur to it. So you can actually enable motion blur by clicking on the motion blur over here and then enabling the motion blur. And now you can see that the motion blur effects comes into play and it looks much more realistic. But it still looks a bit of jittery as you can see right here. So you can see that there's the motion blur but it's still a bit jittery. So what we can actually do is we can work with motion blur without enabling the motion blur over here by letting Element 3D plugin control it. So I'm going to go into the render setting right here and I'm going to work with motion blur. And right now you can see that the motion blur is set to composition setting. So if I were to set the composition settings right here, uh, then motion blur would be on. But right now what I want to do is I want to turn it on by default. So now you can see that the motion blur is on. And here what you can do is you can work around with its mo uh, motion blur sample and its setter angle. So now if I would decrease the, the sample, you can see that there's more jitter over here. You can see that there's four sample. But if I were to increase this out into something like 50, you can see that now it's much more smoother. Let's do something like 32 so that it's not heavy on the processor, but you can still see the change as you can see right here. So you can see that the motion blur is much more smooth now. You can also increase and decrease the shutter angle as you can see. If I were to increase the shutter angle, it, there's more motion blur to it. So if you want more motion blur, you increase the shutter angle as you can see. It does take a bit of a processing time. Looks like a wind effect rather than an asteroid now. Uh, just like that as you can see raises in and so forth so now you can see that it is much more smooth but i'm going to decrease the shutter angle right here just like that it's going to decrease the shutter angle to have just the amount of motion blur that i want to work with so now you can see there's just a bit of a motion blur over there uh, to support the camera angle so that's how you can work with the motion blur settings inside of element 3d Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.